So today's video we'll be looking at how I go about color grading or editing my wedding pictures in Lightroom on my PC or Lightroom PC or whatever it is you guys will call it. What's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet kindly do consider subscribing because yeah um, on this channel I help you know educate you on how best you can go about when it comes to shooting, retouching and also like you're about to see color grade your images in Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One any of the push processing and softwares. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Make sure you share this video at the end. And also, I would, I think in the future, I'm looking at doing similar videos for Photoshop and Capture One. And if you'll be interested in that, just let me know down in the comment section box. But just don't forget to share this video at the end. All right, so let's just dive right into editing today's image in or images in Lightroom. I shot these images with my Canon 5D Mark IV and the 50mm STM 1.8. So you're really going to see some, um, you know, purple fringes coming in from the 50mm lens, which can be avoided when it gets, you know, a very good um, lens system, like the original lens system. But that's by the way, we can fix that in, for, um, you know, we can fix that here in Lightroom. But what I'll be looking at, whenever it is I'm shooting, right, I have an idea of whatever grade I'll be drawing, that is when I'm shooting. So to be able to um, um, go in the direction of what it is you want to do, just make sure you have the colors you want to, you know, um, take your image from wherever it is to the next in mind before, you know, you come into um, whatever post-processing software you have. Looking at these images, I had an idea. I wanted everything to look contrasty. Um, brownie with a bit of reds in the shadows and um, make it look as subtle as possible when it comes to the colors going all around in there. Now let's just dive right into the develop session and this is what we have as our first image. As you can see 50mm STM 1.8 lens, um, ISO 100 f 2.2, shutter speed 1 over 640. Looking at this, I was hoping I wasn't going to get these um, distractions here but you know we just have to crop it out so this also counts as the editing session in lightroom cropping out your image making sure it's perfect and right about here you can see i've placed it in the rule of set on right on the right side so now i have this very looking image over here looking as cool as possible but as you can see here on the histogram it, it's what the camera is telling us or what the software is telling us is that this image is very well exposed and everything is right in its right sense. But this is not what we are looking at. We want, like I mentioned, brown tones, reds in the shadows and every color is as subtle as possible. So I'll dive right into basic. Everything I'll be doing here, I have an in-depth explanation on how you can use all these tabs available in Lightroom. I'll link a playlist up here. Just go watch that and be able to, you know, understand everything that's going to happen here. But just watch me as I, as I edit here in Lightroom. And feel free to leave any questions down in the comment section box. Right. When it comes to Lightroom, this I'm using Lightroom 2021. So I think um, earlier versions of Lightroom, like the 15, 16, 17, you still have this over here. This shows you the profiles available in Lightroom. There are a lot of profiles. If you want to check, you can come to manage profiles. Then there are a lot of them over here. I just wanted to use the modern for today's tutorial purposes. So I just brought it back. And this is what you see. So under the modern, you have these created profiles for you. You can just toggle through and find the one that you want. All right. So I was torn between modern seven and modern three. And I think modern three is the vibe I want to start with. You can you can leave it as it is and move forward and you're done editing. So far as your um, your exposure or your histogram um, tells you that everything is okay. I want this, but I don't want the full effect, so I'm just going to bring it down a notch. Uh, somewhere around 44 should be fine for me. Then the next thing I'll do is to, I want it warm as usual, and with um, brown tones, you're also looking at warm tones. So I'm just going to, you know, add some warm to this and make it a bit, by warming it up, I'm adding more reds. I'm trying to balance the reds with the tint, so that's why I reduce the tint over here. And this image looks, for me, for what I want to do, it looks a bit brighter for me. Right? So I'm going to reduce the exposure to somewhere around here. Reduce the contrast because 
I know I'll be adding contrast very soon. And let's take down the highlights just to introduce um, information around the side of her body. Then open up the shadows. Right. Maybe the white too. Then open up the blacks. Somewhere around here should be fine. These days I'm drawn towards um, soft looking images with less texture. And that should be my way of smoothening my images in Lightroom. So I'm just going to reduce the clarity. I know people like to add clarity. I'm going to reduce the texture also. And that should be that for me. Right. So this is what I'm working with. And sometimes I like to show the before and after just so that I know how far off I'm deviating from the original photo, which is a practice I think you should also learn to do. Now here in the tone curve, I'll start with the available channels. I'm going to add contrast to all the available channels here on the image, which should be the red, greens and blue. So I'm going to create a three point curve. You can be very accurate with it. You can also play around with it. That's how I get to play around with the tone curve, but mostly I'm quite accurate when it comes to, you know, creating these point curves. But if I'm not in this video, yeah, I shouldn't hold me accountable. It's for the purpose of the tutorial video, of course. So a slide, a curve, right? And do that to the side also. This should be fine. I think that should also be fine. So if you take a look at this before and after and adding contrast, we initially said we were looking at um, a dull, subtle image, right? So after adding contrast, all I have to do is just come and reduce my saturation and, you know, add a bit of vibrance to this. We'll come back to the vibrance later. But yeah, this is what we're looking at at the moment. Let me, this is fine by me. Now, to enter into where we'll do most of our color grading should be here in the HSL tab. So we have the hue, saturation and lightness. If you want more explanation on what and how these work, just go check out that playlist on understanding um, all the tabs here in Lightroom. Alright, so we're looking at making sure everything is as subtle as it comes. So I'm just going to you know move things around and see how it works for me. Yeah, this should work for me. Yeah, I'm looking at minus two, I'm looking at plus two over here. Alright, let's see how the yellow also works. We want it to be more reddish or more towards the green side. So the green side should also do its work. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's see. The greens also. I think I'm going to move it towards the yellows, which should do the trick for me. Currently, I have no blues in this image, but I would want to move the purple towards the magenta, which of course I'll move the magenta towards the reds. So in all, I have these two um, hues being red in general. Right. Next thing I'm looking at is the saturation. So. I'm going to play around the saturation here. Yeah, that affects the outfit. So, yeah, I keep it somewhere around there. And this affects the skin more. Then the yellows, let's see what you're doing with the yellows. Are we adding more? Are we taking away? Yeah, we won't take away because I want it to look as brownish as possible. So, somewhere there should be fine for me. All right? Then the purple, mm, try and remove them from this image. You understand later when we apply it on some other images. Right, when, when it comes to the luminance, we're looking at uh, a bright skin, right? She's a light skin model, so I would like to add more lightness to her skin than darken the skin, if you get what I mean. If you've been with me here on my YouTube, you always know that when it comes, when it comes to like, the luminance of the oranges, I usually, you know, take them out. I usually darken the skin most of the time, so that that should be it. So 
so let's see what we've done so far with the hs setup this is the before and this is the after what do you guys think how is that working so far for the kind of journey we're looking at all right so next thing we'll do is to color grade and here in color grading i have um the shadows and the highlights like i mentioned we want to add some reds into our shadows right so here in our shadows and in my hue i'm going to add some reds into this and with that red i want a little bit of the yellows in there too right and and it's as subtle as it comes so this should do it this is the before and after but i also want to warm my highlights up so somewhere there should be fine for me so we're looking at warming our highlights right and warming it up i need more yellowish than red and what we did with the shadows should be considered a little bit orangish right so now let's warm the highlights up this should be fun so this is our before and our after before and our after how close are we to our brownish looking image right so detail i'll take away the sharpening like i said i'm geared towards soft looking images and as much as there's a lot of punchy or contrast in this i'm still geared towards that softness so you take away the sharpness the clarity and the texture lens correction wise let's enable that we should have done this initially when we started editing but you know remove chromatic aberration then in transform nothing effects you can add a bit of grains to this it's more preferential and art to taste like the chefs will say so yeah there's that and there's the calibration the calibration is where most i think the changes will be seen prominently right so let's go to the tent and add some reds into our shadows and move the hue of the red towards the yellowish side and let's desaturate it a little bit minus one should be fine move the hue of the green primary add some reds to the skin All right and reduce the saturation you know i'm looking at the hue of the blues moving into the left i add more reds moving into the right more cyan right so the end goal is reds then we do the saturation as usual now we have this reddish brownish subtle light looking image here in lightroom this is the before and this is the after now what i want to do is to see how it affects all the other images so i'm going to hold ctrl shift and c copy all the settings move to the next image and apply it on this and see how it looks here right this is how it looks here i'm just going to open up the exposure a little bit right and frame this as usual rotate this make sure it's okay then i'll come into the color grading shadows and try and reduce the luminance just because i feel like i need some blacks back in my image but just take a look at the before and the after looking at the blue over here i think putting reds in our shadows has affected this said blue so i'm, I'm going to you know um change the hue of the blue over here reduce the luminance and i can add some saturation to this not too much just to affect our image i'm going to also change the hue of the aqua to turn it towards the blues right so let's copy the changes we did over here and move to this image let's fix this image as usual you know option the keyboard to fix this crop put it in the middle and done let's see okay let's apply and we have this okay so i feel like we've done enough damage over here in the luminance let's open this up saturation let's remove the blues yeah removing the blues from it removes that over here let's turn on lens correction profile here 
and we have this brownish looking image if that's the goal you're going in for i can choose to add some saturation into the yellows just because of the background being yellow and i have this let's move to the next image tap on previous then it will apply whatever we did from the previous onto this it even adds the crop into this now, so let's reset the crop let me arrange this a little bit there we have this also showing on our image just take a look at how this is working perfectly right as of now i think i'm done showing you how you can go about editing your images here in lightroom i would want to also show you how some of my presets that i've created so far work so much well on the images you know let me copy this right there's this one image i want to see how it looks on so let's see this apply that and let me resize this as usual you could tell it's a brown looking image when you see your greens even looking a bit brownish let me bring back some color into the skies reduce the luminance as usual oh, too much color yeah i like it as subtle as it is all right let me create a virtual copy for this then let me show you the presets that i'm selling um i think i've mentioned that in a previous video but if you haven't found that video and you're watching this video i have this tjds presets which consists of you know six presets for different conditions studio during sunny conditions during cloudy conditions with an available profile so i'm going to link them down in the description both the profile and the presets so with the presets you have one free profile and if you want all my profiles you can also um go in for them the profiles are just like that of what lightroom gives but you know for my own version so let's see this is sun grade one and this is sun grade two this is how the profiles that i have affect the images you're seeing over here you can choose to make some changes to this you can choose to keep them and you're good to go this is the color grade we did the previous one we did here in lightroom and this is what my tjds profile is giving you so let's move to say this image all right uh, let me apply one of them over here this is sun grade one and two which one gives more brownish tones and enriches the skin so i think the sun grade one works all i'm going to do is to make sure i bring back some blacks into the shadows so i'm just going to reduce the shadows and open up my exposure a little bit you know and this is the before and this is the after like you can see how it works well i have this image i shot of the groom and his groomsmen and i have i toggled through these and i found out the cloud grid one works so much well I just reduce the exposure reduce the highlight just to see that gobo going on over the created from these um, blinds on the top over here and that's how best my presets can even help when it comes to color grading your wedding images in lightroom so you can try and get that in yeah i'm going to leave a link down in the description try and get that from the store right let me resize this try and get that from the store so you can choose to put the grade that we just created the browns open up our shadows a little bit a bit of our blacks and maybe exposure so these are browns right and like i said she's a dark skin um bright so i can now reduce the luminance of the oranges right choose to add some color to this then i'm good to go let me create a virtual copy and show you how the other presets that i have can work on this set image so this is sun grade one sun grade two on this set image let's see studio grade one studio grade two we can also go in for this maybe even the cloud grade just look at how it enriches everything even concerning the background concerning the white outfits their skin and 
that's that's how easy these presets work so i'm going to leave a link down in the description box make sure you check them out if you're interested in using them to you know send your images from whatever level they are to the next level when it comes to coloring in lightroom all these and i didn't even go to photoshop so like i said earlier when i started if you would want to see how i color grade my images in even in capture one and photoshop leave a comment down in the comment section box and let me know if you'll be interested and maybe in the near future i'll provide a video on that too Thank you so much for watching today's video i will be creating a new playlist where i invite people to my studio and i'm going to leave a catchphrase over here so seeker grade right so i'll ask a question on my youtube page or twitter or instagram just provide this catchphrase i just made and maybe you'll be the lucky person the first whoever is to apply firstly will be the lucky person to join me on my studio set or any other set that i'll be shooting on in the near future thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet after watching this what do you think so consider subscribing to the channel make sure you leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content share this video to other friends who might be interested in learning a thing or two about editing and lightroom and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for supporting also please share this video and many other videos that i've created on my youtube channel thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video peace